What up, what up, what up? What's going on? I knew the phone was going to move as soon as I placed it. As soon as I got it somewhere positioned right where I want it, it was going to move or something was going to shift. But what's going on? How y'all doing? Welcome back to another episode of God Concept Podcast. What the fuck have y'all been doing? What the fuck have y'all been up to? You know, different location, different area, different episode. You know what I mean? My episode has just been basically about revealing the lies in my life and progress. You know what I mean? Revealing, you know, peeling back the layers in my mind, peeling back to the, the layers of things that I remember because that's what we take, you know, that that's the Akashic Records right there. Let me start right there. Let me say that's the Akashic Records, your memory. That's how you build. That's how the ancients built the Akashic Records based on memory, based on, you know, the things we learned from living countless lives and, and doing this thing over and over again. You know what I mean? Um, That's the Akashic Records. So the things that happen in your life are all accounted for. Whether whether you know the truth of it, whether whether you know the truth of it or not, it'll be revealed to you in the end. That's why they say the truth is the light. So pretty much, you know what I mean? You all you know what I mean? It's like a skit that um that little rail did on um a logic album, where it was basically he died and went to heaven. And basically, he got hit by a car. He was going to go get a sandwich or some food or something like that. And he got get hit by a car. And next thing you know, he's standing there in this all-white room. And he's having a conversation with the creator, right? And the creator is telling him he died. And he's like, well, what about my wife? What about my kids? What about this and that? And, she, and basically, he told him, well, she was cheating on you the whole time. She was doing this, that, and the third. And you know what I mean? The fourth and so on. And it's like... You always gonna find out. You know what I mean? You're gonna find out exactly what it was that happened in your life, why it happened, this and that. So always take the time to peel back the layers of your memory. You know what I mean? It's people that fuck people over and fuck their minds up, fuck their spirit up, fuck their life up. You know what I mean? To get ahead in life. And those people are demons, man. Those people, you you have people that's really operating in a demonic way out here, man. And it's, it's, it's sad that we just can't get along. We're not allowed to really, we're not afforded the, 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 um, the luxury of finding ourselves comfortably. You know what I mean? Finding yourself, it always got to be a rough, rugged, you know, sometimes you got to go through the muck and the dirt. If you don't really have a family that's, you know what I mean? You know, that come from money. If you're not from a family that come from money or whatever, then it's going to be harder for you to really find what your what your calling is, what your purpose is here. You know what I mean? We all got a calling. We all got a purpose. You got to take the time to find yourself. You got to take the time to really refine who you are and, and what your calling is, what it is you stand for as a person. We all got a mission. We all got a calling, man. We all got to wake up. We all got to wake up before it's too late because you got a lot of people out here that understand what your calling is. They understand what your purpose is. And they don't want you to complete that mission. They don't want you to get to that goal. They don't want you to complete that that task that the ultimate creator placed upon you. You have to find yourself. Finding yourself means finding your purpose, means finding your path, finding your purpose. You have to, you know, um, I was having a conversation with somebody the other day and, um, you know, I said, it was talking about God and everything. And I understand God differently than they understand God. When they say God, they mean the God of everything, the God, the almighty, you know what I mean? The most high. And I don't regard the God that's talked about commonly as the most high. 
I don't. There's a most high creator. There's something above a God, the, the God that a lot of people commonly refer to. And if you understand what I'm saying, you understand what I'm saying. I'm not going to go too deep into it and try to make you understand what I'm saying. If you don't, then you just fucking don't. And I don't care. But you got to understand there's levels to this shit. Like Meek say, there's levels to this shit. You have God, which was created by the government and things like that. This is also the God that they push to you in religion. This is why it's so confusing. This is why you really can't discern the difference between the big G and the little G. When somebody refers to the big G or, you know, they're talking about the creator or maybe not the creator. Maybe the big G is still this one, but the most high just call him the creator. I don't call the most high God. I don't attribute any, any name to, to, to that entity, to that which emanates in me because that creator is what emanates in me. I believe that there's a, uh, how do we say, an intermediary between us and that ultimate creator. There's an, there's an in-between, you know what I mean? There's the ultimate creator up here, right? And then right here, is where our prayers go. And we're under here. And when we pray, our prayers go up to the next level, which is here, which is in between. I think it's all a, you know, it's a, it is whatever you think it is. I'm gonna put it like that. Cause I don't wanna go into this whole thing like I'm trying to break down and philosophize. Just find your mission, find your purpose, man. Whatever that is. You know, a year ago today, I lost my grandmother on my daughter's birthday. On my daughter's birthday, I lost my grandmother. You know, my daughter lost her great grandmother. And I I explained this on a podcast in the early episode before I was doing the video episodes. So I explained it again. You know, um, so I went up to the hospital The day my grandmother went in, you know, I left back out after seeing her and everything, stayed up there for a while. I get a call saying that, hey, she's not doing too good from my cousin, Katisha. And um, she tells me, you know, um, you got to get up here. Grandma don't look like she's going to make it, this and that. Right. So I was on my bike on my way back up to Temple Hospital. And I said, before I hung up the phone, I said, please don't tell me I'm going to lose my grandmother on the day, on on my daughter's birthday, right? So I get up there, see my grandma and everything. I'm talking to her, you know. Um, I put on the phone. I did a FaceTime phone call, you know, for for my daughter, you know, with her great-grandma so they could talk, you know what I mean? Cause it'll be the last time that she get to see her and talk to her and everything, you know. You no, know, that was that. They got their phone call in. Then the next day, you know, I I stayed there a while. The next day, I you know I came, ran my pass that night before I even went to sleep that night because I couldn't get any rest. I went home, rode my bike home. Next thing you know, you know, I get a phone call, ran my pass, you know. Like, like right, like right after, you know, 12 o'clock, basically, she passed. Like right after 12 o'clock, she passed. So, you know, from there, had to go back up to the hospital, right? See her, see her and everything. You know, family came, you know, she, they had to uh, clean her up so she was still in the bed, you know. Um, from there, I went, um, I actually Ubered my children to me. And, um, you know, we went out and celebrated my daughter's birthday. 
you know, we went out and we went out and celebrated my daughter's birthday. I got her a gift. You know, I got my son something, you know, because you know, I had my son and my daughter. Took him to eat, took him to the movies, um, you know, because it was it was her birthday. So, you know, I took her, had a good day. And then I explained that, uh, you know, grandma, you know, transitioned to the next level of life. And, um, you know what I mean? That's how I did that. You know what I mean? It was, it was, it was, mm, it was a very confusing moment. It was a very confusing moment. It was a very confusing day. You know what I mean? It was very confusing in so many different ways that I, I can't even explain. Um, cause it's so, so many situations surrounding my grandmother's passing. So many situations surrounding my grandmother's passing. And, um, you know, before my grandmother's passing and after my grandmother's passing, there's so many situations surrounding that whole thing. Um, you know, and it's just, um, you know, I wanted to wish my daughter a happy birthday. I wished her a happy birthday um, early this morning. You know, I made her a little video you know, a little happy birthday video or whatever. And I'm going to, you know, look out for as well. But, man, it's just... Find your path, man. Find your path. Because you got certain people in your life. And my grandmother, for me, was one of those people in my life that attempted to put me on my path. Not attempted, but did, but... It's like she gave me, she always tried to equip me, not tried, but she equipped me with what I needed. It's just the distractions in my life was so, um, it was just there. You know what I mean? I, when I was young, I didn't have a father in my life every fucking day. I didn't have my dad in the household with me is what I'm trying to say. I didn't have my father in the household with me and my mom had to do what she had to do. You know what I mean? So it's like, I ain't had no, no, you know what I mean? No, like, yo, if you could do this, then do this. You know what I mean? And on top of that, I didn't have that, that role model. And on top of that, I'm telling somebody, I'm getting, being told by somebody, stop all that singing shit. You know what I mean? Not shitting on my, you know what I mean? There's no shade or nothing like that, but my mom ain't really want to hear me singing and all that type of shit. She was, she, she, she had a whole entirely different lifestyle. So, you know what I mean? It's like my whole life just, you know what I mean, was was a to me. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna sum it up in one phrase: a shell game. A lot of people' lives out here are just shell games. They place people around you. You know, um, the ones in control of this. The the I'm gonna I'm say the little G. The little G place people around you and 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 basically manipulate your life through means of um, through different means through different means. I'm gonna put it to you like that. I don't want to go too deep down that rabbit hole. You know what I mean? I don't want to go too deep down that rabbit hole. But you know, all in all, it's like people. People act like they don't know the situation and they don't know what's going on, but there's powers to be out here and they're not that far away. They're really close to you and they're always fucking close to you. And this whole shit is manipulated. Only thing that you got to do is stay true to you. Stay true to you and don't fall into any of their traps. You know what I mean? Don't fall into any of the traps. I'm not, I'm going to stop saying they because this is, beginning to sound like what it is, but at the same time, I don't want to sound like I'm a nutbag, whatever, you know what I mean? But there's a lot of, it's a lot of shit that, you know, could fuck you up out here if you let it, basically. You know, one thing about me, I can say this, I indulged in a lot of different things for the purposes of me finding out everything that I found out. For good or for bad. For good or for bad. I don't give a fuck. See, 
Knowledge is power. Me knowing what I know now, I get to put put that in my Akashic records. Me understanding what I understand now. And I'm not saying everything on this podcast. Right? I don't. I do that intentionally. Um, I never did, never do. But I say enough. You know what I mean? Um, to let people know that this shit is real. And the people, the perpetrators know that it's real. So, but... I forgot where I was going, but it's just a deep as it, it, it's a deep, it's a deep situation. It's a deep concept. And each of us are in the same situation and we don't even know it. My situation is no different from your situation, but you don't know it. That's the difference. The difference is you don't know. A lot of, a lot of people don't know about the show, about the show that's going on. A lot of people just don't know about the show. Oh, that's a ladybug. A ladybug just landed on me. I guess I'm a lucky guy. But yeah, man, a lot of people just don't know about the show. You know what I mean? And if they don't know, you can't really fault them for not knowing. A lot of people going through these things or finding out these things drive them crazy. Understanding that you're really not in control. And I'm going to give you an example. Perfect fucking example. Just a second ago. I was telling myself. All day I was telling myself. I'm not making no podcast today. All day I was telling myself. I'm not making no fucking podcast today. I'm just not doing it. It's my daughter's birthday. I want to be with my daughter. You know what I mean? I, I got to wash laundry and all this other shit. I want to. You know what I mean? I, I want to spend spend her birthday with her. You know what I mean? And I got a little wash laundry and shit. Plus, it's a bittersweet day for me and her because of the day that my great-grandmother died and her, I mean, my grandmother and her great-grandmother died on her birthday. But it's like, we got to push past that, but it's hard for her because she's already cried about this before her birthday even came up. My daughter cried about this. My daughter cried about her, 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 her grandmother passing, her great-grandmother passing on her birthday. And I understand, and I let her know, that, you know, I let her know that it was just her passing on to the next level of life. I let her know to live is to, to live is to die, and it's going to happen to everybody. It's a part of life. The whole thing is, you know, someone alluded to this happening on my daughter's birthday. Just a side note, someone alluded to this, to my daughter, someone alluded to my grandmother going to pass on my, on my, on my daughter's birthday. So go figure. It was, you know, how they say that, um, you know, everything is written. Your whole life is written out. You know, God already knows what's going to happen in your life beginning to the end. That type, that part. That part, go figure that. Go figure that shit out. There's a lot of it's a lot about life that a lot of people watching these videos don't really understand. The ones that do understand is the ones that's throwing up the signs, the symbolisms, and shit like that. Those are the ones that understand the shit. The ones that's throwing the subliminals, the ones that's performing the rituals in plain sight. Those are the ones who understand exactly what's going on out here. Exactly what we're a part of. So, and I don't want to be a thorn in nobody's side. And that's crazy because my brother's last name is Thorn. But it's like, I'm just trying to do what's best for me and my family at the end of the day. I ain't trying to throw no monkey wrench in the operation of the broader scheme or point of view or whatever. I'm not that type of dude. I've never been the type to try to fuck nobody operation up. I want you to operate. You know what I mean? Cause you have to, you have to do your thing. Right. But at the same time, I shouldn't be, um, some type of sacrifice. My family, my lineage shouldn't be some type of, you know, um, some type of, 
play toy that y'all could just manipulate. You know what I mean? Come in their life, fuck them over and shit like that. I, you know, I understand you do this to everybody. And that's why I'm trying to wake everybody up. They, I understand this, this is done to everybody, whether they know it or not. And I'm trying to wake everybody up. But truth be told, I just don't give a fuck if they wake up or not. I just don't want it done to mine. You know what I mean? Mine, it shouldn't be. And if, and if anybody's going to be able to write my lineage, my lineage's life story or, or what's going to happen in my life, in my lineage's future, it should be me. I should be the only one that is able to, to, to write that story. I mean, besides them, their self, besides my children and my children's children, they should be able to do that too. But to know that there's people that can actually manipulate your life in a way that you'll never be able to write your own life story. They don't want you to be able to control your own destiny. They don't want you to be able to control your own destiny. That's why a lot of us are out here in this rat race that we are in today. And a lot of us don't deserve it. A lot of us are so fucking talented and so fucking gifted. You know what I mean? I... I'm meeting brothers over here where I'm at, right? And they talented as shit. Everybody got something unique. And I'm I'm peeping everybody. I'm I'm looking at everybody and I'm peeping everybody. You know, not on no negative shit. I'm just peeping everybody's strong suits, their talents and they you know, their abilities and shit like that. And everybody got their talents and abilities. And I'm I'm peeping all these but like, damn, all these brothers come from is very diverse, very talented group of brothers. But yet and still, we in a fucked up situation. You know what I mean? The best thing, the best advice I could give anybody out there. Focus on what you want to do with your life. Focus on your life's mission before you focus on any outside influence, advice, or anything somebody's trying to give give you. And keep your dick in your pants. Keep your ass in your pants, ladies. Keep your titties in your shirt. Don't fuck with nobody. Don't don't be out here getting in relationships with nobody until you find you. Until you find you. And that's so deep. I'm not even going to get into how deep that is because you have a, another half out here. Yeah. Yeah. There's a negative to your positive and you're the positive to somebody else's negative. So you have, there, there's yin and yang. They're, they're just like Adam had Eve, you have, a, or Adam had Lilith, you have that. You two have to find each other. You're not going to find your Eve or your Lilith, the one that you're meant to be with, your soulmate. You're not going to find them fucking all the whores out here. Fucking all the Jezebels, fucking all the women that's just giving it up just to give it up, just for reproductive. Pr- I think it's this, it, and it's it's done it's done subconsciously, so you don't even know it's done. A lot of y'all fucking having these babies because the program the the program is making y'all do it. I mean, yeah, it, it's it's putting out the lust. You look at the videos, you look at the stereotypes and all that shit. It's put it's putting all this. All this visual stuff out there, all this, you know, shit you can listen to and everything to promote sexuality so we can go out. Oh. <laughs> my fault. Damn. My shit. Teeter totter. I gotta get a fucking tripod or something. My fault, y'all. But the video ain't stopped, so we still with it. But yeah, that's why they promote all this sexuality bullshit. Because. That's what they want us to do. You know? America is a military industrial complex. They want you to keep having children and everything because it helps their status quo. You know, and not only that, it, it's an end that meet meet uh it's an end to meet multiple means. Because not only does it funnel money to them, right? It also stops you from meeting your purpose. Accomplishing your goals in life. It's another distraction. Sex. Lust. All of that shit. It's, it's a distraction. From you 
getting to where you ultimately supposed to be. You supposed to be somewhere. You you have that's why a lot of people are walking around out here lost. Because they're not living the life that they were supposed to be living. Your life was written, but who was writing it? See, I'm pretty sure when you signed up, when you signed up for this for this experience to come here on earth, right? To put your to put your soul in a body and come through a, a vessel, right? Through a mother, right? And there's certain money allotted to you when you get here, right? If your parents know better, you'll be able to get that money and live your life comfortably, right? But if you don't, you you live your life as a poor person. You start off poor. You start off with zero. Otherwise, you start off with a million, right? But there's one caveat to that. It's a good thing when you start off with zero and you discover that you have money waiting for you because the whole time that money's been waiting for you. So it builds up over time. This drives some people crazy trying to get to that money. I don't want to discuss it. That's a story for another time. But, um, yeah, it's, it's an intimate, multiple means. You know what I mean? You having children, pads their pockets, and also help them, well, don't help you. It don't. It helps them don't help you. I don't know if they want that to happen or not. I'm not that far ahead in my research. From what I'm noticing, they don't want you to, you know what I mean, ever accomplish what you came here to accomplish because it keeps you in a reincarnation circle. It keeps the energy going. It keeps the energy going. As long as you're reincarnating into this world, it keeps the energy going. They're feeding off your energy. They feed off your spiritual energy. They feed off your physical energy. Because all of it is tied together, like a battery. It's all tied together. They feed off you. They feed off you physically, so they can feed off you. No. They feed off you on every level. I don't want to break it down, but they feed off you physically, mentally, and spiritually. They feed off you in every way, and they made sure it's designed that way. You have to be in the in crowd to know these type of things. I don't have to be in the in crowd. Because it's already in me. It's in me. I can't help that I know this shit or that I put all this together because I have the knowledge. It was already in me. And if you understand that, you understand that. Your soul holds knowledge. That knowledge is transferred to your brain. It's, it's not rocket science. If you If you reincarnated in this life before, your soul has muscle memory of living this life. So your soul has certain memories of certain things, even of other souls that's dwelling in other people. No matter what somebody else want to tell you, that's how it works. A lot of people have the cheat code on these certain things because they're part of certain groups, if you understand what I'm saying. I don't, I don't want to talk about them too much. Bus driving past, that's what's up. Uh, I don't want to talk about them too much because when I talk about them to people that I know who's directly involved with them, they act like they don't want to talk about them. And that's a slap in the face when you know that somebody knows about a certain person or a certain people and they say that they don't know those people, but yet and still you're a loved one of mine. That means you're, you're spitting in my face, you're lying to me. But you have to do that because you're a part of said group. The said group has to guard, has to veil their secret. They have to keep their secret. They have to hold tight to their secrets. I don't even know if they're doing it. To be honest with you, I don't know how to break it down to you. I don't know if they reveal the secrets, whether they, their soul gets destroyed, the energy that, you know what I mean, is your soul. That light is destroyed if, if you break that secret or not. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's why I wasn't initiated. You know what I mean? Maybe that's why I wasn't initiated. Because then I wouldn't be able to shed light on all the darkness that's going on out here. Maybe that's why I wasn't initiated. I don't know. I don't got a pendant. You know, I don't have a pendant. 
I have a coin because I'm the real McCoy. I do know what the fuck I'm talking about. And I know everything I'm talking about to be everything that I'm saying to be true and evident. And I know it because I did my research. You know what I mean? I, I wish that the world would do their research. I wish that y'all out there would do y'all research on what it is that I've been going through. Because if y'all did y'all research, you know what I mean? Not only would you would you help me out and get me out of a, a, a dangerous situation, because it is very dangerous, even though I'm handling it with poise and with ease and with care as much as I can, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm being guided to deal with the situation the way that I'm dealing with it. So, and with no help, by the way, no help. I'm, I'm going out on my own and I'm talking to people and I'm doing what I got to do. You know what I mean? I'm trying, man. You know what I mean? I, I, I confide in my mother sometimes to talk to as much as I can because sometimes, you know, even, you know, a person... You know, she's a woman. I'm a man. So the, the system deals with her differently than they deal with me. I'm going to put it that way. So, you know what I mean? She got to do it her way. I got to do it my way. But we get it done. She helped me out, you know, tremendously with some of her advice and, with some of her advice and everything. So I appreciate all of that. But, man, you know, I, I wish just like people take interest and little dirt situation about him going to jail and all this shit happening with him. Y'all should take interest in, 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 in your fellow citizens situations. You know what I mean? Cause I put these, I put these videos out here and I, I'm, my, I'm, I'm an open book. I don't lie to nobody about shit. You know what I mean? I stopped lying and all of that shit a long time ago. Cause I learned that it's not good. You know, every every one of my fuck ups, all of my life and bumps that I went through in life, I learned from. And I, I'm like, yo, I learned from that. I got my ass kicked from that. I got this from that. I got this from that. So I ain't going to do that. So I learned from all my mistakes. You know what I mean? And it's like, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. But, you know what I mean? It's like. Our own people just don't care. Our own fucking people just don't care. And it's sad. And I'm not just talking about one community, one race. All of us is going through this. All of us. It don't matter if you're black, white, Chinese, uh, whatever you is. I mean, Spanish. We all going through this shit. Me raising awareness, awareness to this is really putting another piece to the puzzle for everybody. Because everybody's trying to figure out life and, and what's the meaning to life and, and what's going on out here in life. And I'm telling you what life is. It's real. Don't get it wrong. You know what I mean? You're not supposed to, you know what I mean? Say, oh, it's this, uh, so I'm going to do this and do that. Don't lean towards your own understanding. Just follow your heart. That's what you're supposed to do with your life. Follow your heart. Do not allow outside influences, even though you have people who believe that they know better than you know where you spo- what you're supposed to do with your life right? and how you're supposed to do it. Like, what, what sense does that fucking make? You know what I mean? But it is what it is, man. It, was, it is what it is. Follow your heart, man. Follow your heart. You know what I mean? And I, I want to say, I, I want to say, um, I'm pushing positivity, and I am pushing positivity. You should stay positivity. You should stay positive. Don't allow negative influence in your mind. But at the same time, you got to move. You got to be able to flip that switch when you need it, because this world is going to test you, man. You got motherfuckers out here that's going to test you constantly, and it's designed that way. Just when everything going peachy, everything going good. You got a motherfucker doing some nut shit in your life or you bending the rules or something like that, getting yourself in trouble some type of way for some nut shit that you, you know what I mean? Like, come on, man. It is what it is, though. It is what it is, though. We le- we live and we learn. Some lessons we got to keep learning, though, because some freedoms should be afforded to us. That's all I'm going to say about that. Huh. Huh. You know what I mean? Wink, wink. 
I'm trying to hold the fucking phone and record at the same time. So I apologize about the camera keep swaying and moving and shit like that. But yeah, man, that's what it's about. Right now, I'm just standing still, trying to get all my chips in order. So that way I could just start. You know what I mean? Getting back to me. Getting back to, you know what I mean? Because the only way I'm going to be able to do for my loved ones, the ones that's still there for me, that I feel is there for me, is by being on my shit. So I got to be on my shit. I got to be strong and stay solid for that. You know what I mean? But yeah. I'm going to go ahead and end this podcast. I don't know if there's something else that I wanted to talk about, but, yeah, I'm done. Um, support the books. The books are available on Amazon, Kindle, Barnes & Noble, Google Bookstore, and Apple Bookstore. Um, you know I'm coming out with the Audible books. I don't want to keep saying it. I want to do my recorded book soon. Yeah, and um, also, on top of that, I want to, um, what? No, I'm tripping because I, don't mind me. And on top of that, I'm going to definitely start recording some more music. It's definitely going to be better. You know what I mean? Because I'm going to start, it's going to be better. The music, everything is going to be better. Because I'm going to actually be able to finance my shit. My shit going to be financed. Everything going to be better. So just be on the lookout for the books, the music. And this podcast, God Concept, I'm your host, Mr. Pagan. Thank you for joining me today. Y'all have a blessed one. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'm tired of y'all not doing it. Do it. Do it. Just do it.